JavaScript's built-in functions make it easy to turn an object into an array. There are a few different ways to do this depending on your needs. Let's take a look at them. So here I've created an example object, and the first thing that we might want to do is grit an array of all the values that exist in this example object. So that would be the value one, for example, or the string here. We can do that using the object.values function. So on the global object class, which has an uppercase O, so I'll say uppercase O object, I'm gonna call values, and then I'm going to pass in the object that I want to get the values of. So in this case, I'll say OBJ, and you can see that the value we get back here is an array with all of the values from our object. So we have one, hello, and then the array here, which is the value for C inside of that original object. Now, if we instead wanted to get all of the keys inside of the array, instead of using object.values, we could just use object.keys. So I can go back here and say object.keys, again, using object with an uppercase O, and I'll say object.keys, and you can see that we get back three string values here, a, B, and C, which correspond to the three keys in our original object. So now we've seen how you can get the values from the object as well as how you can get the keys, but if you wanted to get both the values and the keys, you can instead use the object.entries method. So this is going to go and return a list of key value pairs from our original object. So I'm going to say object and then entries. And here it is returning uh, for each of the values in the original array, it is returning a new array that contains as the first item in that array, the key. So you can see here I have a list of three, three key value pairs. Each of those key value pairs is an array. The first item in that array is a key. So in this case, A. And then the value is the second value inside of that array. So one in this case for B, the key is here. And then the value, hello, is the second value inside of the key value pair. So those are three ways that you can turn an object into an array. If you're just wanting the values from your object, use the object.values function. If you're wanting the keys, you can use object.keys. And if you're wanting both the keys and the values, you can always use object.entries.